The first step is to turn on your remote. Hold down the power button. Once your remote is on, go ahead and access the main menu. To access the main menu, double tap the power button. From the main menu, you want to use your Mode 2 button to scroll down to more info and tap the power button to select. From this more info screen, what you're going to do is double tap the power button and quickly tap four times on the Mode 2 button to access the trigger value screen. Here's the trigger value screen. Make sure the change acceleration pole that's highlighted is negative. Use the Mode 2 button to scroll one down to set acceleration minimum. To set this value, you're going to pull in your trigger all the way until it stops. Once the trigger is full, tap the power button to select and save. It'll automatically scroll down to set acceleration maximum. Leave it fully open and just tap the power button to select. Make sure that change acceleration brake pole is positive. Scroll one down with the mode two button to set brake minimum. Make sure the brake is fully open, don't touch it. Just go ahead and tap the power button to set this value. Lastly, set brake max will be highlighted. Fully pull in your brake all the way and then tap your power button to save. You'll be highlighted on the return field. Go ahead and return by tapping the power button and it will save and exit. Make sure you turn your remote all the way off before you begin your repair. You're gonna start by turning first your board on. Press the power button, then immediately turn on your R2 remote. Once your R2 remote is on, you're gonna hold down the mode one button only until you see the connection icon begin to flash. Once it flashes, let go, don't touch anything. Once your connection icon is solid and you see a battery meter, you're paired. Now you can go ahead and try your remote. It should feel nice and smooth. 